Hello and welcome, my name is Robin and you're watching a Robin Reads. Today I wanted to talk about the books I have read for the month of February. And yeah, I'm not feeling the best, I'm very tired, so you probably can tell, so just putting a disclaimer out there. And uh, February was therefore also a very, yeah, not a very great month for me. I wasn't really enjoying the books I was reading uh, till the end of the month. And therefore I'm doing this wrap up a bit earlier. It's uh, Thursday actually, it's the 27th I think of February. And yeah, I'm just, I'm probably just not going to finish any books. Um, so yeah, therefore I just want to do this wrap up right now. And yeah, just talk about the books I've read, which aren't a lot. So let's get into it. The first books I wanted to mention are the uh, TBR Jar Picks books. So uh, the TBR Jar Picks that I had were uh, these three. So the first one is Macbeth. I'm just going to talk about this later because I finished this one. Then the other one was uh, Best Man by Matt Dunn. I read about five pages in this and it was all about sex and I really don't like reading about that. So I DNF'd it, sort of, if you can say it after five pages. But I just lost interest and I'm going to uh, unhaul this immediately. And then the last one was the big book of the month. As you can see, I'm uh, currently reading it. I'm on page 86. And yeah, I'm. it's very well written. A um, lot easier than I thought it would be. But yeah, um, I'm just not g getting through this because I'm just really tired. And when I'm really tired, I can't really read uh, classics. So I'm probably going to push this uh, till like the summer because then I'm um, free and can read those kind of books. So those were the three books of my TBR jar. Then the book I might finish this month is uh, The Alchemist by uh, Paolo Coulo. This is the uh, Dutch edition. I might finish this one. I'm yeah, 50 pages no. 38 pages in and it's like uh, 150 I think, not even 140. So I might uh, might finish this but yeah, I'm not really enjoying it so we shall see. I'm not gonna force myself so yeah. Then the, on to the books that I have actually read in the month of February. So the total is six books, which for me is really, really low, a really low number. In uh, 2019, the lowest number was nine. And uh, therefore, yeah, this wasn't a great month for me. But I still um, read a lot of books that I really enjoyed. So that is uh, very good. So the first one I finished was on the uh, 2nd of February. And that is... Replay by Saki Tsukahara. This is a NetGalley arc that I got and it was out on the 4th of February I think and I just wanted to read it before then. And I wanted to get more into manga so therefore I read this. Um, it's an arc of NetGalley. And yeah, it was uh, yeah my first uh, real real manga. I read uh, the Mary Kondo book in a manga format, but this was my uh, real one. Uh, first, <laughs> I uh, yeah, I made sort of a mistake. I was reading and I was like, this doesn't make sense. But yeah, I was reading it in the wrong way. So I just looked it up on the internet and then um, it made sense again. So <laughs> that wasn't uh, very smart of me, but okay. Um, this book is about these two guys and uh, they are friends. They've been fr friends for a really long time, really like best friends. And they both uh, have played a lot of baseball, but both are yeah, just in their senior year, I think. And they uh, just quit baseball because it was too much. And yeah, the main character, that's this one, is yeah very sad about that. And 
yeah, they they were uh, talked about as they were like a married couple and just in the sense that they played baseball together and uh, one of them was the pitcher, one of them were, was the catcher. So yeah, that was um, a bit of a sore point. Um, you felt really a tension between these two characters and first of all, you didn't really know what was happening but um, the main character uh, was pretty out, uh, so yeah, you feel felt right off the bat that he is gay, and uh, so yeah, th there was some tension. So after that, you just learn more about these characters and their relationship, and yeah, I really liked it. I really enjoyed it. Um, the art style was okay, but not that good because I sometimes I felt it was a bit a little bit hard to. Yeah, just to get characters, uh, um, yeah, just, how do you call it? Just characters, um, um, I didn't find that the characters were like well flushed out uh, as in the the drawing style so it was like um wasn't that that character like like that it was a bit confusing and the other part was that uh the names were a bit hard to follow because they had nicknames for each other which were in japanese japanese right yeah so that was a bit hard for me like okay yeah he has what is his name you know <laughs> i didn't really get it so that was a bit difficult, but uh, yeah, overall it was a really nice story and therefore I gave it uh, four stars. The next book I read was uh, that I finished on the 9th of February and that is uh, Cersei by Madeline Miller. And this was a body read with someone from Goodreads and I'm not going to talk about this book because this book was part of my five star predictions video and I'm doing a... Yeah, conclusion a video about that in like June or something. So you will see my review for that one um, then. Then the next book I read was a Dutch book. I listened to this one on audio. And it's also available in English. So here is the English uh, cover. It's called A Heart of Stone by Renate Dorstein. Um, I've read a book before by this author and really liked it. And this book was amazing. I, I really, really, really love this book. It was just, yeah, just great. Uh, probably one of my favorite books of all time. I really liked also the audiobook. The narrator was really great. Uh, she is a famous person in the Netherlands. Um, so yeah, that was new, really nice. And uh, yeah, the audiobook, audiobook was great. So what is this story about? This story is about... Uh, yeah... First, it's a bit confusing because, well, to me it wasn't, but to explain it is a bit confusing because the perspectives were changing just really rapidly. Like, also not in a chapter or something, it was just, okay, then this, then that, that then that. So, um, yeah, you really needed to pay attention, but I, I really like that in books, um, therefore I really liked it, this book as well. But you follow... Uh, a woman who is, I think she is, well, in her 30s or something. It's not really clear, but I think in her 30s or 40s. And she is um, going back to her elderly house. And you feel right off the bat that there is something with that elderly house and there is something with that family. Because she talks about her family... And um, yeah, she just mentions that she only knows, uh, well, the only living member is her uh, little brother, but her little brother is adopted, so she doesn't really talk to him anymore. Not because of that, but just they don't really talk anymore. And her other siblings, um, her brother and her sister, and her parents are all dead. And... In the whole story, you yeah just come to see why they are dead, what happened to them, uh, what happened to her. Because there is a lot, a lot of trauma in her life. Uh, this book has, like, a lot of trigger warnings. Seriously, a lot. Uh, so, 
please be cautious of that. If you want to know more about the trigger warnings, just let me know in the comments and I can just put them out there for you. But yeah, it was really hard to read because you really follow this um, woman and yeah, she just struggles. She really struggles in life. And she, yeah, you just follow her mind and her mind is going back and forth, back and forth. Um, in the past, uh, when everything was alright, but um, when the day happens, because she talks about the day, um, you also see what happened after that with her and then in the present when she's like uh, 30, 14. So yeah, it was just heartbreaking, but a very, very good book and very well written. I really felt with the character and just, yeah, it was just amazing. So I really recommend this. The next book is um, that I also finished on the 18th of February. I had my holiday that week, so yeah, it was... Uh, I was just finishing a couple of books and that is uh, The Fifth Season by N.K. Jemison. This is the first book in the Broken Earth trilogy. And I also can't talk about that book because it's also a five star production. So yeah, <laughs> sorry about that, but uh, you have to wait for my review. And then the next book I read uh, was also an arc um, from Ge an arc from Nat Kelly, and that was uh, I Cosmo by Carly Sorosiak. This is the cover. I uh, yeah just needed a light and fluffy read because I just wasn't feeling well, and I thought why not pick this up? I mean, a dog on the cover, and it's actually has the dog as a main character which is great and so yeah it was just very nice and fluffy to read so this book is about Cosmo he is a Labrador dog and you just follow his life and his family his family consists of a little boy called Max uh, his sister uh, Max's sister and uh, Max's parents and Max's parents are um, not getting al uh, getting along um, very well. They are fighting a lot, and yeah, just throughout the whole story, you follow um, their downfall basically. And uh, was good representation because this family uh, are all people of color, so that was very nice. And um, yeah, this story follows just um, the yeah the life of Cosmo, and also Max and Cosmo just want to. Um, yeah, just let their parents see why they need to be kept together because they feel they're going to separate and therefore they are going to do a dance competition. So you follow them dancing and stuff and um, that was really nice. I gave this book uh, four stars. Um, I think I might, I might have given it a 3.5 because it was very similar to The Art of Raising in the Rain. That is a book that I read last year and that was also a book with a dog as the main character. And yeah, that is of course not why it was similar. It was similar because um, of a couple of reasons. The first one, this dog was also really old. It was like 13 years old. Um, in the other book it was as well. Uh, that dog had arthritis. This dog had as well. Um, the fighting with the parents was in this book, also in the other book. Um, the obsession with a hobby, in the other book was it uh, car racing and in this one was dancing. Um, and yeah, uh, Cosmo wanting to be more like human, uh, that was also in the other book. So it was just too much, you know. It could have been a little bit better uh, flushed out in that sense that it wasn't that similar. So I didn't really like that. Uh, but overall, very nice and good book. If you haven't read the other one, you probably enjoy this more. So yeah, four stars. And then the last book I read and already mentioned is uh, Macbeth by William Shakespeare. I listened to the audiobook and um, that was actually a mistake. The audiobook is narrated by a full cast and that cast exists of like 30 people. So... At the beginning of the audiobook, uh, these f 30 people or something are introduced. And um, yeah, they just think and want you to uh, just um, 
yeah, remember all those voices. So they don't mention who is talking. And in this book, as you can see uh, here, you can see like Macduff, uh, double point, like blah, 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 you know, uh, stuff like that. Macbeth, blah, 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 blah. So you can see uh, who is talking. So in the audiobook, they didn't do that. So I was uh, Macbeth. I got confused with another character. Therefore, it was really confusing. And it was just way too confusing for me. And I was making a puzzle, which was also wasn't a great idea. Because I was really focusing on my puzzle. Um, so yeah, the audiobook was like two hours. So therefore, I finished this. But I can't really tell what it was about. <laughs> it was about witches and Macbeth. And Macbeth was like a general or something. And he killed the king or something and then he became king and then he became mad that was i think basically the story and um yeah so i gave this one three stars but i don't think that is really yeah you need to yeah take that with a grain of salt because i didn't know what this was about so i will probably be rereading this one um not soon but sometime because yeah i just didn't understand what was happening <laughs> Then the books I want to talk about are the books that I talked about in my TBR but didn't get around to and I just wanted to update you guys on how, yeah, what I'm going to do with those books because I feel like if someone talks about uh, a book in their TBR I'm like where did that book go? So therefore I just want to talk about that. So uh, the books that are going back on my TBR because I'm not going to finish them I think soon maybe. April, um, the readathon in April has some prompts that I can read this book for, but um, I don't know. But that were um, The Wind in the Willows, uh, 1984 by George Orwell, uh, The Loved One by Evelyn Wow. I didn't finish a keyword uh, book in this month, and this was one of them. Uh, Another one was uh, The Life and Loves of She-Devil. That was also a keyword uh, book. Not going to finish that. Um, another one was The Girl Who Saved the King of Sweden. I'm putting this on my this year TBR. But we will see if I get to it. Sorry for my squeaky uh, chair if you can hear it. Um... The books I might read in March if I have time, but I probably won't have time, are uh, Recursion by Blake Crouch. This is the um, Dutch edition. Therefore, it's called something else. Uh, the other one is uh, The Chalkman by C.G. Tudor. Um, please let me know about this book if I can read it, because I have heard that it is a bit more horror. Um, so yeah, just let me know if I can read this one, but... I'm not very a fan of horror, as you might know already. And then the two books that were for my uh, five-star predictions that I had on my TBR for this month were A Man Called Ovi and uh, Eating Animals. Both These are both the Dutch versions. Uh, so I'm just going to read these when I get to them. I don't know when, but uh, we shall see. And then I also had a couple of NetGalley arcs on my... Um, TBR for this month. Uh, one of them was Asperfeld. That was the uh, science fiction YA. I read like I think like uh, this this yeah this much so of one page, and I felt like no, <laughs> this isn't it. So I might just even not read it. Um, but yeah, it, it wasn't that great, and it was like 450 pages. So I was like, yeah, if this one was like 200 pages, I might have read it, but otherwise, yeah, no. And yeah, I'm currently reading also a couple of books. Um, Little Women, still going strong. It's getting a bit annoying, but you know, I uh, I really want to finish it. So I, I, uh, I'm trying. Uh, Bottomless Cups, that was the one I got from the author. I'm currently reading, also struggling <laughs> through. Because I'm reading it on my phone and I get a headache pretty quickly and easily when I read on my phone or e-reader. So that's really annoying. 
Um, and uh, I'm reading a Netgalley arc called Lab Partners that I mentioned in my Netgalley book haul. Really enjoying that one. Uh, so yeah, that's just the book I read before I go to sleep. And then, yeah, also of course reading Oliver Twist and The Alchemist, which I mentioned. And I think I'm starting A Dance with Dragons uh, today. Not really starting, but continuing with that book because I'm uh, on like 150 pages. So I'm just, I just really want to finish that book. And if I start now, I have the whole month of March and a couple of days in February. So maybe I will finally finish it. <laughs> I'm really not good at finishing uh, long books, as you might have noticed. And yeah, that were all the books I have read in the month of February. And uh, yeah, I hope March is going to be uh, better because this wasn't a very nice month. But we shall see. Most of the time March is better for me. So yeah, let me know what you read in the month of February. Did you read some nice books? Have you read any of these books that I mentioned? Please let me know. Yeah, I really hope you liked this video. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and comment. And I will see you later.